Alright, uh, I'm going to be making um, a number of rapid fire videos this morning. This one is to derived energy. Um, in response to your video on aliens uh, entitled uh, such and such, screw the aliens. <clears throat> so, let's reacquaint ourselves with the argument, shall we? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, look, you know, you say and I say different things, and I think we're, in some regards, really on the same page, and in some others, we're really quite, um, well, uh, not communicating. <laughs> so, um, you know, give me a minute, I'm just thinking. Your video was about the idea that was related to my video. Namely, if there are aliens, is what I was saying, then that undermines the philosophy which seeks in some way to destroy suffering by destroying life. Because, in order to destroy suffering in an absolute way, which is what destroying suffering via destroying life is, um, in order for that to function, it would have to be absolute. It would have to be all life. All life would have to end. <coughs> oh, I feel like this is very easy, um, talking about this. But, you know, I've given myself a week for that reason that I kind of wanted to... You know, let it stew so that I could just have something to say. Um, I think that was wise. And because, you know, this YouTube thing is so interesting, because you can make immediate responses, um, but you can it's, you can t completely ignore a particular website or philosophy or genre. You can go, you know, for example, if you're an antinatalist or a life hater, uh, you could, you're probably enjoying uh, uh, not enjoying. You're probably avoiding videos that dote on enjoying. You know, you're avoiding that particular philosophical genre. I would imagine if you were, in, if I was in those shoes. You don't want to hear people talk about how life is great, and so any video that sort of wanes or waxes that way probably is stayed away from. Similarly, um, while while on the one hand uh, an individual can ignore certain individuals. Or philosophies, a person can um, take time and really consider, um, and it's completely arbitrary, it's completely up to us. I mean, we are the arguers of the argument, etc. It's very interesting, it's very, uh, yeah. Um, and you talk about humility, and I want to get to that, but let me finish this point, which is aliens, and how I was saying if they're there, then what's the point of blowing the world up? Or, or you know, what's the point of gracefully exiting ourselves? Um, finding a way for humanity to say, okay, you know, let's all create, you know, suicide booths. Tele like telephone booths, but for suicide. Okay. And, um... You know, I just think that the... Mm. answer was about well let's not worry about the aliens let's just don't worry about the aliens to hell with the aliens and stuff now you didn't talk extensively about that point you didn't talk a whole lot about to hell with the aliens you know he didn't talk about about how oh, I don't give a fuck about those fucking life forms. I didn't hear a lot of that from you because you were having uh, a lot of fine things to say. I mean, I agree with a lot of what you said, um, and I'd like to hear give examples. But I guess one flaw is that I didn't review your video right before starting this one. Um, 
you know, you talk about uh, people and how we're all s sort of um, whatever. So the okay, yeah, this is officially not going well. The crux of it is. You talked about aliens and how we should screw the aliens, and I just don't think we. How is that a good? How is that a good answer? Um. Now what you really did, uh, that's all coming back to me. What you really did is you talked extensively about. Basically, you you, you said you know you never ar argued any of this. You never, foolish productions, Keith. You didn't argue about, or you didn't address the point, in your pro-Aliens Exist video, you didn't address the point that aliens might not exist, and the evidence for that. You just sort of blithely and arrogantly made the statement that aliens exist. You know, what I was doing there was I was taking the cloak of aliens exist and putting it on my head. So. Here is the body of evidence that supports, and the, and the group of arguments that support the philosophy, this green, that support the, the idea that aliens exist. Here, the beige, is the arguments and the group of evidence that supports the idea that, that aliens don't exist. They, we are unique in the universe as life. We are the only life in the universe. I mean, just saying that, it kind of <laughs> boggles my mind, but, um, yeah, I do tend to sympathize with this group and think that this group is right, but you brought up some excellent points heralded by, by this group, the, the dear sweet beiges, namely that, uh, well, if there's aliens in the universe, why haven't we seen them? Uh, the, this Fermi paradox, and if there's a Fermi paradox, well, we've got, you, and you went through ten or twelve answers. To the Fermi paradox, which is what I just said. If there's aliens, why haven't we seen them? And you went through a whole bunch of reasons in an article. It was very nice derived. I appreciated it. It was educational for me. I had never heard of the Fermi paradox. You see, it was. It was, it was I appreciated it. The Fermi thing and the answers given definitely made you think. Um, but am I going to sit through, sift through, and find the the one reason why the paradox is not a paradox, and say, "Ha, that's the most likely one," you know, and, and really dwell on it? Well, not maybe, but not at the moment, um, because I wasn't make I wasn't sitting around playing in the green people's, the alien lovers' lab science takes place. I wasn't actually doing the arguing for the fact that aliens exist. You'll note in that video, yeah, I said aliens exist, period. Uh, I was just, I, I, I suppose I could have said, you know, but there's no, there's no sense of dialogue that's happening in this argument. I mean, I'm not like having a conversation with anyone, so, you know, I didn't get a response besides yours, so... I don't feel like I have to make myself too clear or to be too polite. Worry about being too polite because, um, because no one's gonna listen to it. Then uh, other other than, well, whatever. Look, this green. Uh, I'm not interested. I could give a fuck about the aliens, right? I don't care about whether or not there are aliens in the universe. It doesn't please me. It doesn't displease me. It's not a subject I'm interested in. It is a subject you're interested in. And that was the point of my video. People who want to see the world end, theoretically, but in a graceful way, um, you know, or at least suff people who want to see suffering end in an absolute way, in, in that even if that means some kind of radical um, means, though not necessarily, um, you know, sort of extreme, just kind of, uh, yeah, people who, who, who really think that. 
the, the, the aliens are just a, a point that I use to say, yeah, but if there's aliens, what then? Um, and you basically say, well, there's tons and tons and tons of reasons. Look at all this beige. I mean, look at all this beige. There's a whole bunch of people out there, brilliant scientists and so forth, who are all about this beige, that we are alone in the universe, and uh, since we are theoretically alone, what of uh, the world then? Uh, uh, if we are alone, then uh, the idea of Earth turning back into a rock is kind of a beautiful idea. Um, uh, and um, in other words, death is beautiful, which it is. <coughs> I, though, think that the answer wasn't. Talking about how all it, it, it was talking about how all the uh, aliens are bad and stuff, and how no, how all the arguments for aliens are bad. The arguments for the existence of aliens are bad, and so you know, since they're bad. Um, we should be more careful in making the speculation about how aliens exist, but as I said, I wasn't there to examine all the evidence for the green and for the beige, for the aliens existing and for the aliens not existing. I wasn't there for that. I was putting on the mantle of the green for the purpose of making this point. I was saying, yeah, 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 I'm all for aliens. Aliens exist. So that I could say, yeah, if they exist, then you really can't snuff out suffering. And you really can't snuff it out in the same way that you can snuff out life. Uh, the two are not synonymous. And, uh, Snuffing out life on Earth would then be pointless. So your response was, uh, not really about what you put in the in the title then, because yeah, there was a there was a stark disconnect between the conclusion, screw the aliens, and look at all this evidence for the fact that there are no aliens. There's all this evidence that there are no aliens, but they might really exist. Um, okay. Um, if they do exist, I mean, that's just such a ridiculous possibility. I just can't deal with it, so fuck it. Screw that. Screw that? That's so... Un, you know, what unintel un 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 unintellectual ah, derived, and I, and like I, I said in your comments, I mean, I really appreciated uh, the video, etc. But um, yeah, I mean, why, um, why have the aliens? in the discussion at all. Um, I was asking that question because I'm not interested in having the aliens in the discussion. I'm not interested in talking about how extra, about extraterrestrial life. I'm just interested in the fact that a lot of people who are against the existence of things are because if the world is small, then 
it's easier to end, I mean, or something, it's more justifiable, it's, I don't know. And I do think it's quite ridiculous, some of those arguments about, uh, from the beige side, um, but I really don't care to examine and, uh, support the, the green. What is, what is the green, the aliens, <laughs> I'm not interested in, in, in getting aliens around so that we can all have aliens. Yay! We got aliens. Walk outside. There's aliens everywhere. Um, 